Would you look at that? I think my tractor's split. You have to fix that. You're in for a good video, guys. It's gonna get good. I'll see you in the next clip, my dudes. This video is gonna be a long one, so I suggest you go into your kitchen at home, crank on that kettle, get that water boiling, get yourself a nice cup, get a tea back, make yourself a nice cup of tea, because this video is gonna be a long one. Hey, why not even get some biscuits? Because this video it's going to be a long one, but it's going to be worth it. So, get yourself a cup of tea, and we'll get into a tractor. Let's go! So, as of a request, my mouth is cold, I can't talk properly. As of a request, uh, I'd like to give a shout out for uh, a guy called Big Steve. So, thanks very much for watching, Steve. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Keep watching. Really helps me out. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope to see you soon. Uh, if you, uh, The chilli that you made for the shoot were really nice. Really enjoyed it. Tasted nice. So, yeah. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. So, yeah. To everyone at home and Steve, I would like to wish everyone a happy weekend or something. I'd like to wish everyone a good weekend. Uh, hope you get motivated to do something, do more. Get motivated to do, yeah, just do something. Get outside, do something, just do something. There's a gate that freaked me out, and I said a gate street. Alright, so I'd like to thank you for watching another video. Now we'll see you lot, and Steve, next time. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Really appreciate it, really helps me out. Uh, I promised you I was going to do your shout outs and I've delivered this time. Look, even written them down. So let's get into the shout outs. Now, I apologise if I spell your name wrong because we've got 10. Okay? So, as always, if you're new here, if you'd like a shout out, comment down below. It has to be a good comment, you can't just comment a shout out. So, comment some interesting, comment something you like, comment something you want me to change. So, if you'd like a shout out, comment down below. So, giving a shout out to Jack Phillips, Farmer Dial, I don't know if I've done you before or I'd skin in other one, uh, Batman, uh, Everett Punter, Jamie Doc, Alex Parado, I think I've done you before, but you've got another one, it's your lucky day. Uh, Daniel Callan is actually my friend, he's got his own YouTube channel, so definitely go check that guy out. Uh, Graham Howland? How Howland? I hope, um, again, I apologise if I say I'm wrong. I'm trying, trying to get him alright. A guy called Zombie Slayer and Johnny Moran. Moran? I think it's that. So, my bad if I spelt it wrong or say it wrong or whatever. Just forgive me. So, in this video, I promised you it was going to be an interesting video. This video, I hope, is going to be an interesting video. Uh, my aim is, at the moment, my tractor doesn't have a starter motor on it because we took that starter motor off to try and put on the Dexter to try and start the Dexter but turns out the Dexter didn't want to know so we ended up having to bump start it anyway so at the minute my tractor doesn't have the starter motor on so I'm going to be putting that starter motor on and then I'm going to be starting it up only for a little bit though just let it warm up and then what I'm going to do is I am splitting my tractor because for those of you who don't know the clutch is stuck so you put your foot on the clutch nothing happens so we're going to be splitting it, pushing the back end out, uh, freeing off the clutch and then putting it back together. So yeah, so in this video, it should be quite an interesting one. I hope you like it. If you do like it, comment down below. Again, I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's subscribed. We're at 66 at the minute. Hope we can get to 70. Then from 70, we've got to keep going, guys. We've got to keep going. So yeah, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to slap a like on it please subscribe it really helps me out i really appreciate it i appreciate every single one if you would like a shout out of your own comment down below in in this video or the latest video so if you're watching this like and you look down and this video was filmed a couple of months ago uh, go to my latest video of the gray fergie and comment on that so i'm only shouting out people who comment on the gray fergie videos okay so this time i shouted out some people that commented on the dexter video because i felt mm, 
I'm going to be nice, shout out a few extra people. So if you'd like a shout out, comment on the most latest Dexter, not Dexter, Grey Fergie video, and I'll read your name out. So again, thank you for watching the video. Let's get into it. Let's get this track to split. Hey, some crisps. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so obviously you can see there's no start them out of there so I'm just going to take this off there's a, a nut on so I'll take the nut off so we can get it back on and you've got an adjustable that fits if I just loosen this then I might be able to do it by hand yeah I should just get that yep Oop. oh that's the benefit of concrete when you drop a nut you can find me that's well good then right uh, open this not all rough. Oh, that's good. Plastic up down. Yeah. That's a good idea, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Ah, that's why. Come on. Yes. I should have taken this off first. Anyone who's ever taken a starter motor off knows how heavy they are. What? Who's going to have to wait? Everyone needs me, I'm famous. And there you go on there. That's better. Ooh, right, I've got one through. I know I'm stressing out, we just need to relax. Let's just take it easy. Let's just chill. It's not life or death. Okay. Just get this nut on and then we're not, it's not going to drop off. Ooh, my arm's stiffened up now. Right. Oh, my hands are dirty. Don't want to touch my camera. Okay, so as you can see, got the starter motor on. So, that's all good. But it's not fully on, obviously, because you've just watched me. Uh, as you can see, it's got some leaks, but in my update video, I said that I'm going to be uh, after just going through all the engine, just replacing all the seals, all the gaskets and everything. So, that should be good. You can see there's a bit of a leak on there, but we'll sort it. It's a farm tractor. It's supposed to leak a little bit. It's when it leaks a lot, that's when you should worry. Oh, I've got new work trousers as well, and I've just got oil all over them. Oh well, they break. This is what I was on about, with all the black oil coming out of here. There's loads of it. So my granddad said there must be a seal inside that's not for it, not working or gone. So yeah, that'll all get fixed. Yeah, next job is to tighten it all up. So. I'll save you the trouble of watching me tighten it all up. I'll tighten it up and then turn the camera back on. Anyway. Right, we've got a problem, guys, because, as you can see, that stud's come out. Now, I think it's because it's old and it's been left outside. You can see the threads. Uh, can't even focus. Nearly focus. Anyway, threads are knackered. So I'm thinking about getting a die and sorting these threads out and getting a tap and putting a tap in there to sort them threads out and then it should work but yeah that's a bit annoying look you can see that's not doing no and that we're breathing on everyone yeah as you can see that don't work so we're relying on just the top two hopefully it should it should work how's it got light now for this bit, you know, for the lever that turns the switch, I haven't got the right bolt, but I've got this. And it works, and that's all I care about, it working. 
I can sort out uh, looks and stuff later. But for now, I'd just like a tractor that works. Because that's what proper farmers do anyway. It's only the people that like turn them into polished turds that are like, ooh, it's got to be all original, it's all original, this. Look at the paintwork, ooh, look at that paintwork. That's not what tractors are about. Tractors are about getting muddy in a field, doing some work. That's what they're about. And I'm not bodging anything. I'm just obviously using the incorrect bolt. It's, a, it's not a bodge. Let's get that back on. Yeah. There we go. That's connected. Let me connect this wire to this side. This, obviously, can you see? Yeah, you can. Oh, no. the terminal on the end of this starter motor. So I'll just sort that out. See, we're getting, the videos are getting better now, guys. Oh, I dropped it, boys. All right, because we're on concrete. Yeah. It's comfy. You can't see. Sat on a chair. So I'll just get that on, and I'll update you later. Now another thing with this tractor, um, my gra it, the, the paint were bubbled up and my granddad stuck his finger in and the water ran out. So he thinks there's a crack in the block, but it's only a little one, so he said it shouldn't affect it. And he's got me some, some stuff to put in the radiator that'll seal it all up. So I'll put that in later as well, when it's running. He said it has to be running for it to work, otherwise it'll just settle in like a clump at the bottom. So yeah, let's get on. I just had a thought, we're going to want the exhaust on this when we're running it, so I'm going to have to get the exhaust out. I don't know if you can see, but the exhaust is inside the cattle box, because when we were concreting all this, I put it in there so it didn't get lost. So I'll have to get it. I think the terminal on negative end of the starter motor is not tight. Okay, so don't get disheartened. As far as starting it goes, I put it down to a faulty earth and a loose connection. So I've tightened it and I've wire brushed the two earthing points. So they shouldn't be anymore. But uh, my granddad said there might be a crack in the side because the paint bubbled up and some water came. So he got me this rad weld that we're going to be putting in. But obviously, if you put this in, it's going to kick some out. So we need to drain it just a little bit. Just drain a little bit out and then we can put this in without it all overflowing everywhere. So yeah, that'll be good. So yeah, hopefully we can start. If we can't, we're still splitting it. So you'll still get to see us splitting it. If you want to skip ahead to us splitting it, if you don't really want to, or you want to skip ahead to us starting it, skip ahead, by all means. Don't click off the video then. Okay guys, I'm really sorry. For you, that was probably like a few seconds. But for me, it was about half an hour of tinkering, trying to get it to work. But it was a loose connection. My granddad tightened it and it started straight up. Oh, sorry, I wasn't recording. I said I didn't expect it to start, if I was honest with you. Um, but yeah, it's running, as you can see. I've, I've put the rest of the rad weld, I'll show you. Look at this. I've, I've put the rest of that. Uh, in in the radiator because of that as I said uh, there was a few few leaks around the block and everywhere so we've put that in just to stop all them leaks all that antifreeze on the floor that's my fault because on a grey Fergie there's a tap and I didn't know what that tap was for so like an idiot I turned the tap and it all just flew out so that that leaks my fault not the tractors okay so I'm gonna let that rad weld circulate for about 
10, 15 more minutes. And then uh, once it's finished circulating, then we can stop it and we can start to split it. But as I need to split it, I'll need to disengage all the fuel, all the uh, supports and steering rods, and then I'll need to take the fuel tank off. And then we can split it, and that may, this end go that way, and then this end go that way. No, we'll leave that there, and this end will go that way. Then I can sort my clutch out, and then I can do some driving videos of it, and I'll be able to show you it driving. So that'll be good. So yeah. I'll catch you in a bit. The fan is hitting the cowl a little bit, that's what the odd noise is. So yeah, I just put that piece of rubber on so the bonnet doesn't vibrate. Okay, so I'll just let it, I'll just let it do its thing now. I'll see you when we're about to stop it. It takes longer to set the camera up than it does to make the video. Now I've finished now. Oh, you finished? Yeah. Yeah, that was last week. We don't want to bend it. So as we're splitting it, I'll be undoing this, this fuel pipe and this fuel pipe. So, yeah, I'll undo it. I haven't got a screwdriver, so I'm going to have to use this adjustable. Do the next one. Slip that off. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one's off. Okay, so the reason I'm zip strapping them up is to keep as much fuel in the pipe as possible so then it's easier to bleed next time. And then this oil pressure is the same, it's got oil in it so I'm trying to keep it up. <coughs> now I can take the hands are covered in diesel, I need a rag. But now we can take the fuel tank off, obviously, and do it and then take it off. Because then we, oh, actually there's that overflow, I forgot about that. So. We're going to have to stand the fuel tank up on one end or keep it upside down or something. So yeah, I'll undo that overflow. And we can have a bed.
Many. Upside down, I'll drain the diesel. I need to find where I'm putting it. Ah! Jesus Christ, that's a fool! <laughs> okay, diesel tanks off. Right, I'll just drain the diesel out of it. <laughs> I probably should have done that to start off with. Okay then guys, so I'll give you a walkthrough of what we've done so far. As you can see, the diesel tank's come off. Uh, I've taken the back of the oil pressure gauge off and put that hose up there. Taken both fuel, fuel pipes off and zip-tied them up to leave as much fuel in them as possible. <coughs> so uh, now I'm just looking along this centre line and looking anything that attaches across. So these two, the support and the steering rod need to come off. And then looking through here, it looks as though my regulator's going to have to come off. Yeah, it is. So my regulator's going to have to come off, which is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, and then my start motor. But other than that, that's it. That I can see. And then it's just, obviously, these bolts. But I'm not doing that today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next weekend. So, yeah. And that's, that's what we're up to, that's, that's, that's where we're going. So, you think so? I had a bit of a spillage. I forgot that the uh, fuel tank has a hole in the cap to let air in, so obviously it doesn't, the fuel actually can come out. And I forgot. So yeah, now we will carry on. Start them out next. Hope you can see, but as you can see, we've got a bit of an oil leak, but we're sorting that. But now I need to take the starter motor back off, but I will save you the boredom of watching me take it back off. So I'll take it off and then I'll catch you up. Okay, so now I've got the starter motor off. So the starter motor's off. Hmm. The next thing is the regulator. <coughs> so it's, oh no, next thing is these steering rod and the like, support. So yeah. I'll get cracking. I'll only undo this bit and then I think I can just flick them around. So yeah, undo this and the foot pedal. Yeah, let's get on me. Right. Don't want to get mucky coat because my coat's just been washed. Right now, I found my just a bowl. Kill it. Yeah. Going. Just do my sleeves one more time. Right, take this one off first. Come. 
Okay then guys, it's getting late now. Uh, what I've done is I've taken this support like beam off and on this side I have taken both of them off the steering and the, the support. So I'm, I'm giving in, so this is going to be a two part video, maybe even a three. Uh, I've got it all ready to split, <coughs> so everything's undone, it's all ready, I just need to undo them bolts across that bit and then we can split it. What's going on then guys? We're back for you. That's going to feel like a few minutes. Not even a minute, like a second since the last time you saw me. It's actually a week. So wait a couple seconds ago was last Saturday. And now we're at current Saturday. It is... What time is it? It is four minutes to eleven. Saturday the 17th, and just so you get a feeling of outside. Let me show you what the weather's like outside in England. What is it? Today, where I am, hang on, I'll just cover it where I am. There you go. Today, it is zero degrees and snowing. Now, let me just let me just give you a quick look of what's outside. Now actually my camera's flat, that is about to die. But oh, you lucky people, I couldn't prepare. I got a second camera. So, unfortunately my big camera, which I really like, because it is better quality, better audio, just better all around, is about to die, so I'll have to switch to this one in a moment. So switch into this one, right about... Hang on, focus. Focus, my dude. There we go. Right about now. Yeah, about now. Okay, so stop this one. Okay, so I'll just show you what the weather is like outside, guys. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, let's see what the weather's like outside. As you can see, zero degrees. Celsius, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, I think it's like 30, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, something around there. And outside right now, and if you can see, quick gander. It's a bit cold. Now unfortunately that doesn't actually do it justice, because I just looked on the display of the camera and it looks quite nice actually. But anyway, it's not like that, it's windy and it's cold and I forgot gloves, so my hand is going to be cold. Anyway. Let's carry on with the Fergus, so uh, I don't know what I recorded up to last week because I haven't looked at the footage but I've taken the support arm, the steering rod, the like air intake, the safe, no, the safety, the starter motor, uh, the fuel, the oil, all off. So now all I can see that's still on is the regulator, which I don't really want to take that off, but I'm going to have to take it off. And this air intake thing here. Hang on, I get the torch. What am I messing about when I got a torch? Yeah, by the way, sorry I got a cold. So, you gonna have to deal with it. I try my best not to sniff right next to the camera. Yeah. You see? That bit. Now the guy that said this before me, he's from Wales. He was a kid. Well, I say he was a kid. He was the same age as me. But, here, you're supposed to have a rubber, like a rubber tube, like I've got, and I've got one in here, like this, uh, that goes across and connects the air up. He hasn't, he's wrapped it in duct tape and put uh, zip straps on it, and then sprayed, sprayed over it as if it's not there. And that really annoys me, so I'm going to have to get a hacksaw or something and just cut it off. I'll snip all them off. Yeah. So I'll just get my tools and then we can begin. Get cracking. Okay, so what I've done is I'll take you around here. Basically, what I've done is where all that was before, I've taken it off. There's still a bit on here, but I can't really get it off. It's proper on, so I think I might burn it off. Uh, I got my wire brush, snips, and pliers, and took it all off. It's all nice now. That's all separate. So now I'm looking what else to do. The only thing I can see is the regulator and the stop. So you can see the regulator attaches there, that bit there. And then get my get 
this. Uh, where is it? Uh, right in front, like this bit. Yeah, that's a regulator that needs to be separate. And then, I oh know, that can say that's where I need to separate it. Uh, and then, come around this side. Uh, I need to separate it on this side as well, so here. You can see this bit here on my fingers. Yeah, that needs to come off. So, as you can see, this casting, anything on this side and this side, anything across this line needs to be separate. So it's just a stop and all that lot. So yeah, I'll inform you later when I've got all these off. So hopefully the next bit you should see is when we're ready to start splitting. Yeah, let's get on with it. Alright then guys, this is the situation. I've undone these. Well, undid the chain. So we can get the pallet fork. Under we're using the pallet truck with some pallets on to jack the back half up and just jack the front half up. This is the situation so far. Uh, undone everything now, apart from that nut in there. Can you see the top of my finger? That nut there. I need to undo that. I've left one in either side, just so obviously it doesn't <laughs> just come apart before I want it to. Look, one in each side, and there's this one. Cannot for the life of me get that one undone. So, I think it needs a little bit of heat and maybe a little bit of persuasion, but we can do that. So, yeah, that's as far as we're getting so far. I will update you in a short while. For you, it'll be a second, for me, it'll probably be like an hour. But, yeah, I'll update you in a minute. Ooh, I always do that. I always turn the torch off instead of the camera. <coughs> yeah, I'm just eating my dinner. I always turn the torch off instead of the camera. As you can see, the tractor looks a little bit different. I'm really sorry I didn't film it, but it was a bit of a heated situation. I compared it to, if any of you are fathers or mothers, I compared it to if you, one of your children is having heart surgery. So I was a bit, a bit on edge because I didn't want it to drop because if it falls it's going to cost me a couple hundred quid in castings, like a gearbox casting or an engine case, doesn't it? So I didn't have the chance to set the camera up because I was too busy paying attention that it wasn't going to break. But it's split and the good thing is the clutch apparently, gone to my granddad, I don't really know, uh, apparently the clutch looks brand new. Uh, it's obviously not brand new because this tractor's sat in a hedge for about 10 years, but um, prior to it being in the hedge, I'm pretty sure this clutch was only a couple of months old. So I'm pretty sure it's had the clutch in, ran for a couple of months and then it sat obviously because my dad got it, brought it back down here and then it was all a bit broken so he said he was going to do it and put it in the hedge. So yeah, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, we zoomed in. Zoom out. There we go. Oh no, this battery's beeping. Right, as you can see, the tractor is split. Uh, let's have a quick look in here before my batteries die. You can see, there's the flywheel. I've emerged up that just to get all the rust off it because that's what it was sticking on. So yeah, I've cleaned all that up as you can see in here. Uh, apparently that bearing looks pretty new but we're going to replace it anyway, might as well. As soon as it's off, save us a job in the future. It came apart really easy. What, the actual taking apart bit took about five minutes. And there's the clutch. I've just started to scrub it up with that pan scrub there. Started to scrub all the rust off it. And this camera's literally about to die. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. So it was a bit uneventful. Well, it wasn't uneventful actually. Quite like it. Okay, then, guys, hope you can see me. This is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This tractor's going to sit like this for another week. Of course, I need to order the bearings, order all the new parts. It doesn't actually need a new parts, it just needs a new bearing. And it doesn't even need that. It's just it's split, the bearing feels a little bit warm, but we might as well replace it because then I have to worry about it in the future. So yeah, we're going to order that bearing, get that bearing in, hopefully next weekend we'll be getting it back together, uh, and then I'm going to throw it all back together and start it, and hopefully I should be able to drive it, but 
I might not throw it back together because I might go in the engine because there's a few leaks, there's a few seals that need doing. There's a few seals in there that need doing, so I might just, as it's in bits now, keep it in bits and just blitz it. Just go through everything, get it all running perfectly, all mechanics perfect, then just run it for a few weeks. I'll video it, obviously, obviously I'll video it. Run it for a few re weeks, uh, get some videos of it running, uh, yeah. And then, uh, when it comes to end of June, after I finish my GCSEs, uh, I get like a 14 week holiday. Well, I hope I do. No, I think I do. Uh, and then in that holiday, I'm going to be going through it all, completely painting it all, spraying it all, getting new plaques, new everything. So it's, ooh, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. So yeah, we'll be going through it all. I'd like to thank you for watching another video. If you like it, feel free, feel free to leave a like. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Comment if you enjoyed the video, and I've decided, well I haven't decided, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, so comment down below what you think. Do you think I should make videos every weekend, but they might not be as eventful? Or, do you think I should make videos like every two or three weeks, but they're a good video like this? Like an entertaining video like this, where stuff actually happens? So yeah, comment down below. Long video, no. Video every couple of weeks, but it's interesting. Or, a video every weekend, some are interesting, some aren't. So comment down below what you'd like me to do. So thanks for watching the video guys. Leave a like if you please. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see you in the next video.